and uh, that training uh, and uh, they are giving government of uh, bihar is giving training to the enumerators you know how to do the job uh, while approaching the ordinary citizen because straight away you cannot go and ask the caste actually there are certain formalities so they just uh, made some questionnaire 17 columns because in bihar to 214 caste uh, names are there 214 so what happened they have chalked out one uh, formulated one uh, column prescribed uh, sorry the forum 17 columns only they to put tick 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 okay but remember here government has given a uh, strict instruction to the people that they should not compel anybody to give their personal details if they are giving it is good you see why they are doing this you know it is for the benefit of the people only because certain groups uh, are getting you know certain benefit from the government bpl apl sc st physically and they got all these things unless they know how can they give the they will get the concession from the government actually whatever you know free food uh, what is the food items or whatever they are supplying you know grains or whatever is there you know so they uh, bihar has already started that and they and they have they are giving training to all uh, people who are uh, going to that field to uh, you know complete this assignment and the personal details caste name religion socio economic indicator these are the indicators personal details caste name so see certain backward classes are there in certain states see i will not tell the name of the state because you know uh, it is going all in the level so i see certain states what happened now we are telling obc other backward goes in obc there are sub classes then 1 2 3 4 5 like that in obc itself so unless you know we write the fill the form and the government they don't know where you are and how much uh, in this particular community how many people are there okay so this type of information but uh, they will not insist uh, you know if uh, and please remember if you are not disclosing properly you are at loss because unless suppose you are uh, you know um, somebody you are entitled to get something you know you are uh, you know backward class or schedule class or something the government is sectioning lot of facilities so if you are not writing that informing that you will not get that uh, this thing so correct detail if you give it is up to you it is not compulsory government will not insist so you can reject also but if you reject please remember this is the record and please remember this are online after you know this will they will enroll uh, put in the computer So that will be a ready reckoner for them. So if we give, it will be much better. Why we can't give? See, date of birth. Can't we give? See, if, unless you give the date of birth, how our people, they are knowing that, you know, in the age group, how many people are there? From 25 to 40 or 35, how many people are there? Above 60 to 80, how many people are there? Above 80, how many people are there? Senior citizen, how many people are there like that? So this type of thing, you know, uh, Bihar has started. and uh, this is religion socio economic caste everything this is for the benefit of the employees rem- uh, sorry the citizen and remember uh, as per the constitution of india all are equal and we cannot please remember one point which i am going to tell when you are working in your office whether it is state government whether it is central government whether it is private organization wherever you are don't ask the caste of somebody and criticize so please remember they can file a case against you and you know you are in that group a caste because this is for your information i am just telling you there is a law that you know all are equal but however you cannot personally insult somebody you are so and so caste you are so and so no it is not allowed uh you know uh, we have to maintain friendly relation with each and everybody uh, because 
uh, they, they, you know, they, they are born in a particular, uh, you know, family or caste, whatever it is. They are not their world also. Everybody is like that. Everybody is like that. So, remember that we should not uh, discriminate the, you know, caste or whatever is there when uh, we are in the office, whether the government, central government, private or whatever is there. It all, all should be, everybody should be treated as, you know, equally. Okay. We are all are human beings. And that our constitution says, all are equal in front of law. Okay. So, yes. Now, making, uh, uh, group I already told you. And uh, yes, these are the Bihar government, which they are, they have started actually. Now, today we are going to uh, talk about uh, nature of the rural area, rural development, you know. So those have not come and, uh, you know, uh, they will miss this type of things. And uh, these are all very useful for employment purpose, future, you know, your competitive examination, everything. Uh, you know, you should not forget that uh, government, state government, uh, when after, you know, even doctors, when they get the job, you know, they are sending to rural area to know the various types of diseases prevalent in the particular areas or hilly areas or some SCST areas and other things, you know. So we should know, yesterday I was telling you, in India, a lot of diversity is there. We should, unless, uh, you know, how the rural people are working, their conditions, how they are living, you know, whether they are having, uh, you know, self-reliant in various fields, all these things, you know. So, this is, uh, we are talking about this. Now, here, nature of the distribution of power in rural area. See, now, carefully listen to this, okay? How power e powers are distributed in the rural area. So in Indian villages, now I am starting the class properly. Okay. Yeah, now Indian villages, sometimes you know very well. There are a lot of conflicts from one group and other group. And you know, f uh, free from uh, sometimes theft is taking place, you know. Consensus are not forthcoming, disagreements are there, then sometimes adherent to religious values. These are all existing in the rural area. Everywhere it is existing. Now, what happens in your book? It is written from the conflicts, you know, in the rural area, mainly it is connected with, you see, either wealth, okay, wealth or let me find out what it is. Matters of land. See, land disputes are taking place in the rural area. One is land, the mean in Hindi. Okay, another is wealth, dar. That, that means if you are having wealth, you know, always, you know, you will try to become number one. Okay. Then another aspect is woman, zanani in Hindi. Then actually, that is Punjabi word, actually, you know, uh, woman. See, clash take place. One is, you know, the land disputes are taking place. Regarding wealth, disputes are taking place about a woman, you know, marrying one caste to another caste and disputes are going on. Now here, one fantastic thing is that here, certain panjayat is there, not this or gram panjayat or uh, they are you know, these are traditional things, you know, they are sitting under the tree, one, you know, elder person who is uh, leading in a particular community, he will be the leader, so he will sit there, others will sit there nearby, they will discuss the problem, you know, uh, in a particular locality, and uh, that, that is called caste panjayat, caste gujar, takur, like that many, 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 many groups are there. So like that, you know, they, they will assemble in particular area, especially I have seen that, you know, under the tree, you know, surround, you know in, a, in a circular way, you know, people are sitting and uh, that gentleman will sit on the top and uh, the, whoever is the elder, elder person in the community and, uh, you know, total, you know, somewhat rich muscle man. 
and others will sit near uh, you know just in the, sit in the <laughs> either the chair or something in the land or whatever is there in the ground okay so they he will discuss all the points and he will finalize what type of punishment to be given to the uh, you know uh, who are found to be guilty or whatever is there so gram panchayat so jadi panda panchayat is there in rajasthan also it is there and uh, then another thing which you have to keep in mind the rural area so i told you when wealth is there the thing uh, taking place and land disputes are taking place in the rural area and of course uh, ladies ladies means you know when married with you know uh, with uh, some intercaste or whatever this sometimes clashes to uh, take place and that become very very cruel sometimes okay this also you have to keep in mind uh, in northern india from one caste to another caste now sometime very very serious uh, actions are initiated sometime you see the newspaper the guy don't want to elaborate that but it's not uh, uh, not not at all uh, uh, agreeable because those who are in a particular age or after 18 or after 22 or whatever is there they can decide about uh, you know their uh, life partner or whatever is there. but uh, that type of system certain area it is not uh, allowed they will decide in the particular caste or particular village only they have to get married like that like that old traditional systems are prevalent there now certain people are workers or voluntarily they are doing the job voluntarily they are doing and we are all talking about uh, rural area so then um, caste uh, there are what happened panj panj means again the punjabi word actually panj means you know uh, our like panchayat member you know panchayat member so five people panj means five so ka- they are now caste basis then count uh, you know they will assemble five four group and they will take a decision now here and uh, one leader will be there these are all traditional things actually which are uh, uh, still uh, you know uh, relevant in uh, certain parts of the country now here uh, yes this is a book uh, dominant caste numerical predominance control over a See, what are certain caste, uh, they are very rich, actually. Okay? So, uh, you know, they are controlling the economic, uh, con- uh, you know, complete uh, money, everything. Uh, you know, they are land, lo- uh, land owners and uh, others are workers or something like that, you know. So, they were having, they are having uh, so, uh, very good power, you know, to control the people who are working under them. And uh, then high ritual status, some people are having leadership uh, a uh, big uh, this thing you know and um, you know in our everywhere it is there okay so control over political power this type of groups are very very essential now you will see that you know, today karnataka election declared now you see the people will approach various groups and caste you know especially everywhere it is existing and because said in states certain caste certain groups are very very strong so unless you please them then you uh, you know you will not get the vote so now you can see that they will try to please all groups so that they will get the vote and win the election the political role also these people groups uh, they are playing and after the election you know sometimes what are the their demand is there so the political party also will help them in some way or other okay now another thing now certain area people are rich in surat in gujarat uh, the can be patida what are rich they are rich occupy the highest status in the field of agriculture Ag- because they are, they are land owners so patida is a very very rich person occupying good position and agriculture you know all land everything controlled by him people are working under him the similar way in rajasthan ex landlords 
Jagirdar, landlord means in Hindi, Jagirdar. Still, you know, they are having powers to dictate the ordinary people. Okay? They are also resort to violence. Okay? Against other castes. It is there. Because uh, uh, I know per uh, personally that, you know, mutual conflict, you know, one caste and another caste, you know, it is there in some certain states. These are not allowed, actually, permits, uh, not good uh, also, see, after all, our ultimately, you know, this will create problem. See, when we are living in a particular area or state or whatever, the peacefully you live, it is not necessary that, you know, after doing something, you will go to jail and whatever, what are what are you are going going to get? suppose you are spending 10, 10 years jail or 22 years in jail or something like that so you try to live peacefully wherever you are avoid this type of conflict in the family or in the, wherever it is so you know our life is very very short and we cannot predict what will happen tomorrow so live the rich man will become poor man also poor will become rich also if a rich man is there tomorrow, what is there, what he will be, you know, we don't know. And uh, the same way, ordinary person also will become a rich person. So these are all things. And, uh, you know, we are all fighting each other without, you know, any, 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 without knowing that, you know, our life is also limited, actually, you know. So during our, uh, you know, short living or whatever is there, do something which is useful to the community. And don't try to pretend that I am in the upper caste or lower caste and I am the landlord. What is landlord? See, everybody wants, you know, they, they want to eat three times for a small, small meals and other things. Okay. For that, everybody is trying. Even the rich people also can, you know, three times or four times or five times, whatever is there. And he can eat if he has got money. But remember, uh, you know, try to help others. And, uh, uh, you know, it is Bill Gates, world uh, number one earlier, rich person, richest person. Uh, he already donated a lot of money for voluntary organization, which includes in uh, India also. Bill Gates Foundation is there. And you take the example of Narayana Murthy, Ratan Tata, lot of several crores, 1,400 or something, that and that also donated for, uh, you know, the uh, charity organization. Because what happened, no? Remember one important point. We are all getting everything. We are achieving so many things in our life. But remember, you are getting everything. You, will be, you are becoming rich, but you have to repay certain percentage of your earning to the society as well. Because, suppose you have got one bangla or two bangla or whatever is there, but remember that bangla or area was belonging to some other persons earlier. You must have purchased or whatever is there. But try to help others and out of your earning, that is the reason why even banks and corporates and everybody they are reserving certain fund for corporate social responsibility. That is, you know, opening school, children uniform and uh, bus they are sponsoring uh, in the hospital, you know, bed uh, or so many equipment, medical thing, cancer, this thing, everything. And you can, uh, you know, so many people are doing so many donations, so many things, you know. You can see that the Bombay, uh, the biggest and the oldest Tata Memorial Hospital is a Tata. Uh, uh, you know, the uh, Department of Etymology. Now, I don't know what is the status, actually. So, these are all charity-based organizations. Remember that uh, there is Tata Trust and uh, there is scholarship they are giving when, you know, you go, you get good marks. You go, go, if you want to go abroad, then they are giving money, loan, which you are supposed to pay back once you get a job abroad. But many people are not glad giving that money. See, with the result of which, what happened, what is going to happen? If, if at all they want to give for others, you know, they will, you know, uh, they will have less amount in the fund. So, 
when you go for higher studies when you get a higher post or whatever in america or uk or whatever it is but when you come back you pay that installment and uh, no interest eh? and uh, so that that sur- the uh, society will uh, charity the organization will survive that type of thing uh, you know our corp many companies are doing our petrochemicals and uh, even uh, our refineries everything you know bpcl and uh, india oil corporation everybody is doing corporate social responsibility so these are all uh, what is that corporate social pregnant ladies because sometimes nutritious food uh, food hospitals uh, bed sponsoring doctors uh, ambulance uh, everything you know they are sponsoring this is for the welfare of needy people only okay so then okay now surat i told you rajasthan i told you then um, uh, okay members were on treated as ah oh. see here one important point is there you are very 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 light uh, this thing printing see um, council members were once treated as gods that is um, you know the idea of panch parameshwar what is that you know i told you in the, uh, the village some uh, leading personalities will be there you know the panchayat member or whatever is there and we, are, we were giving lot of respect to the people you know panchayat president not now now we now all every respect everything we lost are we giving respect to the teachers even father or mother or even the earlier i'm not that i am not blaming each and everybody now you see the doctor even today kerala high court told that you the people should not uh, you know uh, they should not quarrel with the doctors because doctor is giving life to the patients actually maybe sometimes mistake or something else. but if a patient is not getting medicine properly or something like that they should not be to the doctor or something see always you know doctor is trying to save the life of the individual now here what happen in certain ga uh, 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 villages uh, you know this type of council members are treated like god panch parameshwar that is you know so what are they say others will obey you know whatever when some dispute take place in a family partition or something they will come and uh, neutralize everything you know when some uh, you know incident take place in somewhere and they will interfere and they will sort out the issue in the villages okay and uh, but nowadays it is not at all possible i am just telling you nowadays it is not at all possible because there is you know you have to go to police station you cannot settle the dispute you then they will ask who told you authorize you to settle the issue remember some medico legal case with a doctor how can you know some it is connected with some crime then he has to report to the uh, you know uh, immediately to the police because otherwise what when he suppose you know if we, if we are if we are providing treatment okay whatever is the treatment he has to give immediately but medico legal cases are the criminal things you know everything should be reported so here early, like earlier people cannot uh, the problem uh, solve the problem their own uh, mutually okay small small issues we can solve but other thing legal where legality is involved and appropriate authorities are the you to approach them okay now so this is the thing with a caste system practice in india it is the main traditional system caste everywhere it is there and you know uh, which is okay pure and impure caste systems are there the and uh, you know indian village is composed and gomas unit and there is you know so many caste that is the meaning actually okay the following its own occupation every village you know everybody is having their own occupation caste local known as jati okay like that there is about the caste they are telling kindly read that very simple english you can understand that we can go ahead now panchayat that is of course now earlier the panchayat you know it was there was no election earlier i remember in our village 20 years one panchayat president was there. now it is not like that the maximum tenor of a council member and a panchayat president is only 5 year remember this but here it was it was not that in my own village 20 years one president was no election earlier there was no election but now it is not like that now every year 
See, President of India can uh, sit in the chair only for five years. Prime Minister can sit only five years. Chief Minister only five years. Governor also five years, subject to you know extension or whatever is there. But there is no extension for Chief Minister. There is no extension for Prime Minister. He used to uh, seek election, re-election. So this type of things are the law is the clear cut law. Now unit number four. Rural economic structure in India. Okay. Rural economy, you know very well. You know, consisting of different type of people are there in the rural area. And uh, some people are, uh, you know, agricultural based. Uh, some people are the or heterogeneous. That is consisting of different kinds of people or things. That is heterogeneous. And the process of the production and relationship cultivated, some people, you know, they are involved in the uh, cult then landless people are the landlords are the, you know, there is no land available for them to do the agriculture activity. That type of people are also there. And uh, there are people who are already, you know, having a lot of land also. Okay. Now, agricultural basic characteristics. Now, here what happened, I will tell you the major points only because of the limited time and uh, number of classes allotted, I have to complete the maximum. Now, what happened? Agriculture, basic characteristics. I'm just telling you, uh, we have to give a lot of uh, importance for agricultural production. I don't know whether, especially I am talking about uh, sometime, you know, around, you know, Kerala state. We have got a lot of uh, agricultural land also. But farmers are facing a lot of issues. One is climatic problem, that of course, government cannot do anything. But government can do many things, you know. Suppose so if they, after paddy, this thing, you know, everything, you know, the, at least they can lift and they can, uh, you know, a farmer can sell the, you know, rice or whatever is there in the, you know, uh, uh, public uh, distribution, uh, sorry, there's a sewer supply department, whatever is there. And for six months, they are not paying the money out. So what the farmer, farmer will do? So one more point which I want to highlight is that we have to learn a lesson from some other states. I'm the, why I'm telling you, know, perhaps, you know, some people won't like it, I do, because this, I have to say from my vast experience, I'm just telling you, see, people are not willing to do the, they think that, you know, I'm talking about especially in this part of the country, that they think that this is meant for some other lower category, why should I do agricultural production? Like that, like that, like that. Okay. No, it is not correct. Okay. More than 60, 60, more than 60 percent still depend upon the, you know, agriculture only. It gives a lot of employment also. And not only that, unless you produce rice or wheat or whatever is there, then how, what, in ground, we have got a large population, how they will, they have to survive, you know. So somebody, you know, everybody has to, Every state has to contribute to the central pool. Whether it is Karnataka, whether it is Kerala. Okay, sometimes you can give, you know, it may be rice, but in North India, it will be wheat. And uh, some other states, some other thing, you know, many, many other things, grains or whatever it is. But everything equally, it should be, uh, you know, given to the, because what happened, even this army, navy, air force, paramilitary forces, everything, you know, Food Corporation of India is from there, you know, that things are going. So, we have to produce so that we can restrict import from foreign countries. Achha. Now, let me go to go back to the history. It is not available in the book. See, what happened when we got, uh, you know, became independent, our condition was very poor. Agriculture production was very less. There was no electricity. Farmers were suffering. Poverty was there and, uh, you know, illiteracy was there. Now, luckily, you know, India has become, you know, one of the most developed countries in the world. A lot of, uh, you know, all government, they had done a lot. The agricultural labor forces is, uh, you know, in our country, 
agriculture land you know it is divided to agricultural labor cultivators then uh, you know this uh, accounted for see agricultural labor is cultivate uh, sorry is 52 percent uh, in agriculture labor 52 percent is male and 71 percent is female agricultural labor labor cultivation and 52 percent male and 71 percent female the biggest problem of the farmers in the country the mainly their farmers are depend upon monsoon which is unpredictable when it is not regained we will get rain okay when when uh, so, so it is not a, not at all regular at that time you know it will be you know raining or whatever is there. but uh, sometimes water water shortage is coming so many people sometimes flood and you know, and it affect directly affect the agricultural production agriculture and heavy loss our farmers are suffering due to this sometimes drought sometimes flood many things okay so the and uh, the tab uh, table they have given see ambikas I told you yesterday that uh, your book uh, actually is very light printed and it is difficult to read uh, also because you know printing is very light uh, this thing in this page. Now, uh, you know the cultivators they are given a rural area, male, female, female. How many people are there? Table total. You know also they have given agricultural labor and all other workers. They have given the table that is. Cultivators and agricultural labor in the see cultivators and agricultural labor in the workforce. Okay, about that uh, they have given a table. Now, uh, so I told you that uh, uh, farmers are depend on monsoon. Then another thing is that you know exposes Indian uh, you know so farmers to miserable sometimes you know climatic conditions i already told you and uh, uh, cropping pattern now we are talking about a cropping pattern cropping pattern you know how much uh, you can you know net sown area and grow uh, growth crop area how much you can uh, you know produce that area and how how much area you can utilize for that purpose and uh, not only that the multiple Crop. One thing is there. Somebody is doing suppose rice cultivation. So afterwards they, they can do that. You know some other uh, crop also with one crop uh, or some. You know in one year you, the, some people can do two times, three times provided they are having the land and this water facilities and the adequate support from the local government and other things. So they can do because not, not by you know only having one crop sometimes you cannot survive also so two three crops also sometimes it is there so multiple cropping is required so once you do this and after you can do something else also you can earn money that is called cropping pattern okay now there is a diagram in this what is cropping rice wheat okay then uh, pulses okay then uh, like that bajra ragi and uh, these type of things are there and they have given a diagram kindly go through that you will understand that okay and not that very simple you have nothing to worry about this only thing you have to write properly and you have to write your own during the examination as well as uh, you know this um, uh, rather than you know uh, counting the page numbers only uh, whatever is required, you should write, but uh, whenever you write something, it should be meaningful and uh, the evaluator know. Then, you know, by reading that, they will, uh, he can understand how much mark they have to give. And remember, one more point which I want to convey to you is that don't take it for granted. And assignment, you know, when you are submitting that, sometimes you are referring and writing, but in the examination, nobody will help you. You have to write, read the textbooks properly and uh, accordingly you have to write in the examination evaluation will be uh, you know very good evaluation will be there highly qualified uh, competent uh, authorities you know 
academic council is very strong yesterday i was telling that so you have to write it properly and don't say that it, i have seen many times you know in the whatsapp group also sir i have got 50 or 55 i have got 60 60 means you have written only that much people who have got similar you know the sabhi have got 80 or some people got 85 also so if somebody gets 40 or 50 they are deserving only that much they have written only that much but please remember no evaluator will give less mark and no evaluator will give more mark also because if we give more mark see for example in the assignment actually suppose if we write now uh, if we give more mark so you will think that it is very easy and the final examination you will write in a very you know in a casual way and uh, at that time you will be getting lesser mark kindly keep in mind so you have to read i hope you must have got the reading study material if you have not got you can download from the this thing you know website also and um, when you get the book uh, you have to read my dear learner one thing which i want to tell you from my very 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 uh, you know so many decades of experience i am telling you sometimes our learners are not at all focused i have to tell don't mind uh, why i am telling because of my interaction with various learners i am just telling you the proper focus uh, you know it is missing you know for example uh, i am just telling you some people they yesterday i told you know all examination they pass but they didn't give the project report okay remember so many people are there many students are there like they got uh, you know, so many messages or something and uh, uh, then they will send the, in the whatsapp you know they will like sir i have passed out all examinations and i was not knowing that i had to submit the project report so kindly help kindly help kindly help kindly help so what naturally as a human being okay then i will help and i am actually help and uh, even for preparing at least six or seven pages students are taking learners are taking one year even now also cases are this even yesterday when i was taking the class from the region office the two persons were standing to see me and why i am telling this even for getting the signature of project guide the person who are staying nearby our region office which is very near to my house also at least i think 5 6 month passed they only they had to get a signature from me but unless i sign they cannot forward to region office uh, unless you submit you will not get the certificate also so now you see if for getting a signature if you are taking 5 6 months and or 8 months then how much initiative you, uh, some learners are taking that's why i'm i'm telling from my existing experience i'm just telling you 3 4 years back also mba a lot of students you know they, they i even project report they prepared and final not by and this is about things are so whatever you know you are studying or whatever is there whether it is civil service whatever exam but focus on it if there is no focus no you set on because everything is uh, you know evaluated you are getting mark properly and one more point which uh, i want to highlight here in the first lecture itself i told you that don't make any comparison with other university please and uh, in mg university or some other university i was getting that mark and in it is like this they were giving grace mark they were you know so many so many things nothing you will not get anything unless you write this is largest university open university in the world largest you see the website okay so academically also extremely nice and one more thing for your information that this year then uh, this it will not be treated as a distance education it will be treated as a regular course so previously what happened no those who were passing the uh, no, for distance uh, uh, like open university or whatever is there university like uh, indira mahatma gandhi university oh you had done from you know this open university you know you are not eligible like this like that 
now they cannot say ministry of hrd has strictly issued the gazette notification that all open university will be treated at par with any other indian universities and it will be treated as a regular course so you are benefited that wherever you go and please remember we have got uh, through the country the study centers are there examination centers are there and 65 countries i think uh, our op- indira gandhi open university has got uh, offices so the degree which you are carrying whether it's mrd whether it's pgrd is valuable and everywhere it is uh, you know accepted also and uh, this is uh, a professional qualification also which will be very very helpful for your future this thing okay this is for your information people were telling hey that is distance education no no it will be there, there is a particular circular issued uh, to in 2022 it is a regu- it will be treated as a regular course okay now uh, agricultural growth growth uh, crop i already told you ah what is white revolution these are rural area rural rural management development we are talking what is white revolution that is based on the inputs during the evaluation of assignment whatever discrepancies we found that students how they wrote and we found certain lacuna so remember this small thing uh, five six years back you know many even master of public administration and other thing you know they they will they were getting very less mark after this guidelines preparation because they were not knowing how to write another thing everybody is scoring very good mark now i hope mard students also learners also not the student learners also by you know have have by way of having this uh, guideline they will get some idea and um, they will can write uh, properly and they will get a uh, very good mark also so who are is there please add uh, you know the admin, admin uh, you know admin should add everybody's name so that we can circulate no white revolution we are talking about that is milk production now for example you know who is the father of milk production yes okay thank you so who is the uh, author of my you know sorry father of milk production our varghese kurian okay so and uh, one history i'm just telling you revolu- white revolution see once upon a time india was not at all you know have, you know milk powder or milk production very 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 less when i am just telling you we were importing milk powder from america all this thing when i was a student i used to in the school i used to get the powder milk milk powder you know it is very not at all pure or whatever is there and we were getting the milk you know the powder supplied from usa and remember whatever milk powder sometimes they used to dump in atlantic ocean also excess we used to tell that we are a poor, at that time at that time i am telling you we are a poor country why don't you supply give to us once upon a time and we were taking that milk powder and we were supplying to our students and other people earlier stage even i also when i was a student we used to get the milk powder that the milk through that powder only in our when i was doing elementary or secondary uh, you know education now at that time government of india under pl pl 480 program i know made a agreement with the usa kindly supply those uh, thing to us okay and um, because our people are we have got a very big uh, population and uh, we are having milk shortage this is the background now just see now india is the largest milk producing country in the world who is our varghese kurian he started amul kera district anand district and in gujarat and uh, rest is history now we are number one in the world as regard milk is concerned milk production is concerned that is that is called white revolution 
now what is green revolution that is adat also incidentally m s dr m s swami nathan he was also uh, instrumental for the green, very a lot of contribution he made for green revolution in the country because agricultural production fertilizer and uh, how we can cultivate uh, you know uh, you know various types of you know uh, imme immediate uh, you know uh, crop uh, you know this thing taking and other thing and helping farmers and so many measures we adopted that is called a green revolution with the result of which india could uh, reduce uh, uh, made uh, significant uh, i you know this thing in uh, what is that agriculture production and uh, india uh, you know almost you know in certain area india has become self reliant not only that we have got agricultural universities state universities state as agricultural universities there and central also nearly 47 agricultural universities are there. people are doing research and they are also identifying various seeds various things and a lot of the research they are doing and uh, they are helping our agricultural farmers everybody to do cow coconut uh, this thing potato and many other things you know we can do we can make our cultivation or we can earn profit all these things through their scientific uh, uh, research now another as i will tell you telling you one institution like baba atomic center where i was working earlier in bombay which is one of the biggest in the world and uh, they i think they were instrumental making jaya rice i think or some other rice i forgot the name and the uh, the rice through research they produce i don't know whether it is jaya rice or some other rice and uh, like that so i mean so we got lot of research, agriculture research. this thing is there our uh, there is a very big ministry is also there lot of autonomous bodies are there agricultural universities are there many they are all contributing for the development of our agricultural production so okay that is the thing now another aspect which i want to tell you for agricultural production i just told you i told you now here land reform kerala in 1957 or communist government first communist government in the world you know, under ms mudri bird you know they made you know land reforms and many other state also how to you know land reform you know how to do how to do all the thing you know the, some people are having land some people are not having land without having land then how you they will cultivate all this so when people are having more land so then they used to uh, you know either many uh, government you know used to tell them to donate or give to the needy person you know they made a lot of uh, um, reforms actually made certain laws and uh, that is land reform so many many state government has also adopted this in order to reduce the landless people in the country every state has done okay now another thing food shortage there is food shortage also uh, the population is this much and uh, scarcity of uh, you know food items you know sometimes it is also there there will be uh, food shortage is also there and uh, so though we are having you know a lot of uh, facilities everything because our higher population other thing we are unable to provide uh, that you know three times meal through our public distribution system but many times you know, we have already we have succeeded but still some more improvement in this regard we have to make then technology base yes green revolution started in 1960 then technology base sir technology they adopted you know through the technology we just invented many things and uh, improved See what happened now? Biochemical fertilizer. You know, in Kerala, FACT is the which was one of the, once it was the biggest fertilizer plant in the in whole Asia. So they were supplying the fertilizer to all farmers in southern India. So biochemical, so agriculture production, you know, naturally it went up. 
so seeds seeds ma malayalathile vithugal vende whether it is coconut whether it is something else or something always seeds are there no even agriculture also seeds are there no then fertilizer then high yield where we can get you know how we have to how can we maximize the agricultural production but to remember there are advantages there are disadvantages because by way of using the chemical sometimes you know it affects the health of the people also sometimes you know the technology really create problem also okay for example we are having reactor uh, nuclear reactors and then kulangulam and uh, narora chingal pet even uh, tarapur many other areas of sriganganagar many other areas everywhere technology is world class remember radiation our microwave towel nearby See radiation. Whatever your cell phone. See everything. It affects the health of health also sometimes. So here chemical. You know why? I will tell you one thing. There is Manita Gelatin Company here. They are making medicine. This thing, you know, you can see if you purchase medicine, the expiry date. Uh, you yeah, know you have um, noticed no expiry date so till that time for uh, keeping that till the expiry date you know they have really you know made a certain thing to maintain to keep uh, the medicine up to that uh, expi- up to that uh, expiry date and other thing but the ne- problem was that they were manufacturing perhaps the only uh, plant in the country perhaps i don't know now it is there in maharashtra also it is there it was that unit was closed for some time back i don't know now it is there or not i don't know because certain leakage took place and it was going to the river nearby chalakudi river or some other river and uh, the fish every uh, water became you know Uh, adulterated or uh, this thing and uh, you know polluted sorry polluted and uh, you know it affected really the skin when we you know people are taking bath or swimming and other things you know so many issues were then the, the villages nearby they objected and uh, made lot of satyagraha and other thing so these are also technology always you know it is good but technology sometimes you know problematic also sometimes technology is required i am not telling that technology is required uh, because now we are doing through this technology only you know we are meeting we are discussing the, we during the covid season this is the, this was the only way that google meet and that thing we were i don't know hundreds of uh, lectures i gave through this technology only but use the technology whenever it is needed not always whenever it is needed excess uh, usage of anything if you eat more what is the use you eat whatever is required okay so like that agricultural strategy should be there for each and every state and agricultural government has to keep uh, proper uh, you know they are not at all giving adequate importance for this i will tell you one funny thing onam which is one of the biggest festival in kerala and other areas wherever keralaiyas are residing we are celebrating okay everybody throughout the world but remember we know that a lot of rice is required for making the onam feast and one month back one 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 month in advance or something like that our agriculture minister food minister is going to andhra pradesh or then tamil nadu for getting rice or giving supplying to kerala people what is the use i am asking this question with my really uh, it is 
is it cricket actually you cannot produce your own you know lot of land is available here Where from which district i am i am coming land so many people without doing agriculture of this thing and you know very very you know they have left the land as it is because there is nobody to work only from bengal people are coming and many jharkhand and other things you know and we are not doing utilizing our this thing and we are asking somebody to do the agricultural production so that during on and time they can supply the rice to kerala what is this this is a, you know the same way cashew nut also some minister sometime back you know she or he i am not telling you that she went to andhra pradesh sri kakulam or whatever is there and told them to cultivate it cashew nut this thing whereas you know in our place nobody is there to purchase here here also we can cultivate you know this uh, coconut uh, sorry the cashew nut how many hilly areas are there uh, especially dry areas are there because you know take the example of palagad what what you take the example of trichu kasar kot and we are asking andhra pradesh government to cultivate this type of thing and so uh, i don't want to tell many things we, we don't want to criticize you your land effectively for the benefit of your people we have got responsibility towards the society to provide food and other amenities not that you know by giving that this promise or what again that is only a temporary relief we want permanent solution are we punjabi people are not going to some other state in sort of for asking rice or wheat or whatever is there why there is no beggar there why now i am asking the question to you i have i was there nearly 21 years They, that is a you know most prosperous state in the country why right? that is a prosperous grey villages and uh, fringe this thing you know uh, prosperous villages also why right? i'm not telling and uh, you know some other issues are also maybe so this type of thing hard work pay Resp- you know it, it is required for each and every thing hard work whether it is agriculturist whether it is administrator whether it is student whether it is teacher everything the teacher should know what is teaching student is for her responsibility to study the maximum the knowledge which he can get or we can get from the teachers guru nadan guru the same a doctor has to take care of give life to the patient the same way engineer or some other people you know they are having their own ethics so that is the thing which i want to tell you agriculture strategy should be there okay then lot of mangoes and uh, you know uh, i think perhaps one of the biggest uh, you know uh, the pineapple in arunachalam district where it is going the farmers are suffering to uh, sell it whereas it is really you know required in other parts of the country so there is no proper distribution you know and farmers are not getting adequate money by way of doing that type of thing actually so uh, you know is the institutional mechanism should be there to help the farmers to produce and the market or they should get the prices also because they are also investing a lot of money you know then another thing uh, food grains okay that i already told you and they here they are given a table on the other side you know well then then growth of agricultural production yes that they have given a table growth of agricultural production they have given a, what is the yield area and uh, you know year wise and production and uh, what type of crop all crops the percentage all this thing kindly go through the table nothing is there to explain then another thing animal husbandry yes animal husbandry and uh, other allied activities see animal husbandry very uh, ministry uh, our we have got uh, ministry also about this uh, animal sometime you know uh, they are 
you know, we, we, a lot of you know the, for we are using certain buffaloes and other, other thing for cultivation also we have got cattle we have got sheep we have got buffaloes and the cattle whatever is there sometimes they are giving milk even uh, we are using we are giving to our children also but animal also required feed uh, this thing you know food that our food stock is available animal food is required, uh, sufficient or not yes sometimes it is not available so the number of buffalo this is the old uh, uh, the thing they, are, they have given that uh, you know total you know number they have given then poultry egg egg that is also a, a production and coming agriculture you know we were india one of the biggest country the poultry okay andhra pradesh was number 1 once upon a time vingadesha hector it was something like that so that is also people are getting a lot of money from that and uh, you know uh, so andhra pradesh tamil nadu maharashtra everywhere it is there so uh, animal husbandry that is also separate ministry is also the then uh, uh, yes for them uh, i think of the total uh, livestock population of india in 2000 cattle accounted for about 42% that is animal husbandry okay and now to take care of the animals you know then uh, veterinary surgeons veterinary hospitals everything is there and not only the veterinary then he should be a qualified person and uh, he should have medicine and uh, in, uh, you know and all facilities everything you know when some animal is sick or whatever is there because nowadays panchayat is also giving block or something is giving a uh, cow for you know milk production or whatever is there so sometimes you know veterinary surgeon also veterinary doctor also he has to visit the villages also okay now size and distribution of uh, rural assets here some problems are there distribution of the land in rural area is not proper way some people are having more you know how it is happening see a place like kerala or many other area due to partition or marriage dowry system is prohibited eh? remember i am not uh, telling that it is allowed no it is against law but uh, what they are doing parents you know they are giving that one piece of land to one daughter one piece of land to another daughter some piece somebody somebody else or third daughter or whatever is their son or whatever like the partition they are doing the outwards you know the land is distributed like this and the occupancy that is you know whoever is having the land it is only four cent or two cent like that you know only for constructing a small house because of the density of population and not only due to, due to partition and one more thing in uh, uh, some people you know during marriage also they are asking how much uh, you know you can give and land you are having like that uh, this type of bad habits are still prevalent it is not a, uh, en- uh, you know encouraging thing actually okay but it is required in the society which i strictly object because it is not required see if you go to some temples and other things like guruvayur you can see that how much gold they are carrying for what purpose then when you are having more gold more money more problems will be there i'm telling you take it from me if you are having that much gold or if you are having that much money what happen eldest uh, girl will get this much uh, gold support what about the second the second they will also the ask the similar way so second will also so we have to distribution of the property should be we have to take utmost care and the land also it is like that so some people are landless people landless people 
that is also uh, you can see in the villages actually very small you know, land they are surviving so this is the thing and they have given the marginal one hectare two hectare two point zero hectare and like that like that they have given a table you can see that easily so here what i want to tell is that unequal unequal distribution of land reason i told you okay so in india also everything you know all property everything you know, with, with some people only some industries or whatever is there you know okay and uh, the same way in agriculture land also wherever the property is also everywhere some people are you know having more and some people are let me talk about indian constitution as per the directive principles of indian constitution it is the state government duty to ensure proper living condition uh, you know in their citizen for their citizen in the respective area state that is equal distribution of wealth nobody is doing nobody is doing it is the duty of the state government to see that the people are that equally the property is distributed assets so these are the fundamental things as per the constitution of india he properly distributed this type of problem poverty everything will not be there no so then agriculture climate i already told you some people are having large holdings of land some people are less then um, how much you can irrigation facilities are there land is there how what are what type of uh, production you are going to do without water water so irrigation facilities are available that also you have to see you know you are getting some land in some other some place you know hilly area and if you want to agriculture production from where you are going to bring the water okay so agricultural the, now agriculture farmers agriculture uh, agriculture is dependent on rain here i want to tell you something the what and my what policy i have adopted i am not bothered about you know to rush up this i have to explain the things to you whether they are allotting less number of classes or whatever you to complete this type of book but i have to explain properly this is a very important which you have to keep in mind see uh rain due to climatic change and uh, unpredictable farmers are having lot of problem so when it is i told you, you know even in every state there are droughts rajasthan maharashtra many other places sometimes flood many things you know completely destroyed everything so these are all you know helping or uh, sorry uh, you know affecting the agricultural production here yeah. now uh, state wise average size so uh, here they have given state this is actually old uh, statistic average you know every state you know average a person how much land they he is occupying so this is uh, not uh, it is only just you know simply read it is not a authenticated report actually because this is very earlier 1990 1991 report this is 2023 91 that is 31 years back 32 33 years back what rate of report i think okay now see here um they have given average land which people are having the table they have given the land reform every state government they have they, this is as per the our uh, state government is doing land reforms actually but remember they are declaring many thing but uh, whether are doing properly whether are monitoring the things there lies the capacity or the ability needy people are getting land where they are getting whether it is useful if you now i have seen that people are uh, sitting on the road and the idigi and because of wild animals and other things and uh, spoiling their house and other thing elephants and other things you know so you are getting some house there what are you going to do then so government has to ensure when they are allotting house or this thing land or something for poor people it should be given to the houses or whatever is there in good condition when you know good place 
where water is available, we have to give. Then it will be benefited. Okay. Now, another thing, condition. What is the uh, composition of the assets and rural? Okay, this is nothing. Land and building, livestock, agriculture. This is only transport, utility, everything. They are going to table. Okay. Now, they are also going to distribution of assets. Assets, sorry. Uh, or rural household. That, you know, aggregate uh, this thing they have given. No. Another aspect is that rural credit market. In rural, uh, this thing, government, uh, sometimes they are extending loan facility, everything for doing the agricultural, uh, this thing. The, they are giving loan to the farmers through credit, uh, this thing, cooperative bank and, uh, you know, with the normal interest, okay? And uh, only problem is that whether it is helpful to the farmers, only God knows. Because unless you return the money within the stipulated period, the more interest will come. Whether the ordinary farmers can shoulder this type of responsibility. There were people, there were incidents. Ultimately, they will commit suicide because interest, compound interest, whatever interest, they are unable to repay this type of things. Because why it is, even though you are getting the loan and doing the cultivation, because of the climatic conditions and other things, they are losing a lot of thing, money, everything, and uh, there will not be any production or whatever is there, and they cannot sell anything in the market also, and they are becoming, becoming very poor. So there is credit facility, and uh, NABAD, cooperative bank, and many things, government is also giving, even now, Prime Minister, Prime Minister, Pradhan Mandri, uh, Yojana is there sometimes, you know, they are giving, uh, he's giving two, thousand rupees three times or something like to the farmers actually but but remember this whether it is reaching to the needy person that is to be surveyed okay yes it is a very good program very good scheme announced by the prime minister many years uh, some years back and many people are they have got it all very nice. And uh, some people have not got it all though. Okay. Now, okay. Those who have not got it, let them apply. They will also get it. Anyway, <laughs> then farmers are an are organized sector. So, the full-time job is not the farmer. Only in a year, only six months work will be there. Afterward, where they will go? cultivation, then they have to sit idle in the house. So, it is an unorganized sector because salary is not forthcoming. Nobody will give salary. Nowadays, of course, some monthly pension or whatever is for elder persons, you know, those who are having 60 years or whatever is there. But till that time, what do you do? So, unorganized sector, no full-time job. Farmers. But if you are doing something like that, you know, a crash crop like, uh, you know, um, uh, coffee, uh, some other thing, tea, uh, like that, you know, um, uh, rubber or whatever is there, then full-time job will be there. Otherwise, no paddy cultivation, other thing, only six months. Then, add, then idle time. You have to sit idle. So, whatever you earned in six months, it will go. Right? Because you are ha not having the job also, no? So, at that time, you will borrow the money, you will become bankrupt also. Okay. So, this type of things are the growth of the non agricultural Okay, there's nothing. Now, another thing is that annual growth of rural, em rural employment. What is rural employment? Now, whether you are getting the job in the rural, are you ready to work in the rural area? Number one. There are opportunities. There are opportunities. There are agricultural land. There are so many things are available. Rubber is there. Everything is available. Are you ready to work? Okay. Or do you want people from various parts of the country? In Punjab, during cultivation, paddy cultivation, at that time people were coming from various other states. And afterwards they will go back when they do all this type of job. So, to, uh, in order to ensure the you know, money, you know, everything, and uh, even in the rural area also, there is a lot of opportunity. You can do agricultural product, you can fruit, 
everything you know you can produce and uh, you can sell it in the market and you can earn money then yes now mahatma gandhi you know rural employment scheme is also also there and the minimum some day 20 days or something prescribed and they are getting salary also wages also and uh, that but one thing it is it is given through panchayat so minimum guarantee that is you know 20 days or something and uh, it will it is helping uh, many people especially the women especially because uh, because of that they can live peace at the next time and not only comfortably 20 days only you are getting job but there will not be poverty peace at the next time so there are opportunities in rural area another area the problem is the labor turnover people are leaving the rural area in, in search of a job they are moving to town and cities then okay this is the thing then annual growth of rural employment then every week you know everybody how much job people are getting that uh, statistic they are given then workforce i think agricultural labor structural rural workforce 33% rural workforce 45% agricultural workforce agriculture you know in that 33% is rural workforce and 45% is agricultural workforce so incidence of agricultural labor see what happened government state government has given minimum wages to be given ah here one thing which i want to convey to you as per the constitution of india there is equality male or female uh, wages should also be given like minimum wages to be given Equ- uh, that is you know uh, equally but uh, male may sometimes male is getting 800 rupees and female is getting 600 rupees that is not allowed that is against law that is wages should be given equally and remember the in fact <laughs> we uh, ladies should get more than um, uh, you know male you know why those who are working in factories and other, not only agriculture industries take the example industries suppose she is working husband is also working now see husband will come back after 8 hours or 9 uh, hours whatever is that he will sit in the house and read the newspaper or whatever is that but wife after coming here she has to cook she has to take care of wife, children and uh, to washing clothes and other things so 14 hours per day a female has to work a uh, working uh, woman and uh, there is male nearly 8 to 9 now obviously so they are deserving they are entitled the equal wages should be given to the female also this is their fundamental right equal distribution of this thing equal equity okay then uh, agricultural labor i already told you and uh, one more thing nowadays uh, so many incentives they are getting actually from the state government central government other things and uh, baby was ah uh, they are also getting some identity card and uh, they are getting fertilizer in bread. subsidized rate from the krishi bhavan okay then another thing is that uh, agricultural labor rural area okay agriculture wages in india that varies agricultural labor salary it varies from state to state west bengal andhra pradesh and the many other areas you know wages are less but place like delhi or kerala is the highest highest because people are not available to do the job okay so it varies from state to state and uh, ah one important thing minimum wages are fixed by the state government dearness allowances are fixed once in a quarter based on the price index price fluctuation in the market when in the prices of uh, potato you know whether it is uh, sawala whether it is rice and wheat or whatever is it goes up then labor that index will be there the based on that the each and every point uh, 26 rupees or in kerala 26.33 or something like that every increase to this thing uh, to, uh, the da is declared once in a quarter by the labor bureau department of statistics labor bureau 
So dearna salvans also we have to pay and basic also we have to pay. Agricultural villages in India. No explanation is required. You are knowing that. Villages. Then animal husbandry, poultry, fishing is also coming under this. Our rural people, they are surveying coastal areas and fishing is their occupation. They are surviving because of that. And uh, India has got a vast coastline, Andhra Pradesh, whether Kerala, whether Goa, whether Maharashtra, whether Gujarat, everything, you know, vast coastal belt and uh, fishing. E, the Prairie Ministry, they were demanding actually. And a lot of people are surviving because of this. So it is also coming under this agricultural ministry, fishing. Okay. So animal husbandry, uh, everything is coming under that. Okay. So that unit is also over. Coming to next unit. Rural pro poverty. Rural poverty. Very, 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 very relevant. Though we are taking pride of that, you know, there is no poverty. We are self-sufficient. No, no, no. We are wrong. Okay. Lot of poverty is also there in many parts of the country. You see, as per the latest, this thing, Poverty rate is also because population is too much, you know. There is Uttar Pradesh, there is Bihar, and some other parts of the country, and everywhere. Poverty is also the so don't think that we have become self reliant in each and every area. Though considerably a lot of improvement, there are uh, not like you know, some other country like uh, in, we are, India is far, 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 far better, okay, and uh, poverty and eradication. But here I was, I want to tell you, we, India was lucky to have many eminent personalities in the past also. Past also. Each word you please carefully listen to it. You know, after independence, everything I told you, you know, there was poverty, there was diseases, you know, epidemics and uh, no, uh, you know, irrigation facility, no company, no public sector undertaking, no corporation, nothing. Slowly, slowly, they created all infrastructure facility and public sector undertaking. Constructed dam like Bhagavan Angle Dam and Irakud or whatever is there and many, many other reservoirs and uh, electrification and many other things. India made a significant improvement in the infrastructure, so even now also. And, uh, but even though, for, uh, Eradication, uh, what happened through our five-year plan? Now, what happened, you know, one of the, in my, one five-year five plan, the eradication of poverty was the agenda. During the five, five years, you know, next five years, we will eradicate it. Even when Nira Gandhi was the prime minister, the slogan was Gari B. Hatao. Gari B. Hatao. She was the prime minister of India for 14 years. So her slogan was Gari B. Hatao. Then this is the thing. Okay. Uh, at that time also, a lot of poverty was there, but we have considerably improved now because of, uh, you know, a lot of uh, good policy and whatever is there, and a uh, lot of facility we are extending to the poverty-ridden people. In the global context, so uh, what happened? What is this? Uh, yes, World Bank has, yes, here one thing I just want to tell you, you know, Yes, uh, we are also a uh, member of, uh, you know, we, we were instrumental. We were uh, early, the first prime minister of India at that time, you know. So when, you know, the UN was established, we are, India also played a vital role. So there is a lot of subsidiaries, actually, UNICEF, uh, then World Trade Organization, and uh, so many other things, international labor organization, the world, uh, you know, international atomic energy, many things are there. So here... What I want to tell you, they issued certain guidelines to how to remove the poverty. And they, uh, and we, con member countries are supposed to follow those instant guidelines. It is not binding on the member countries. There are 196 countries. And uh, they are issuing the guidelines. You to do like, see, they are issuing sometimes, you know, the HIV positive, AIDS, how to treat the labor. Uh, ladies, you know, female, 
how much uh, maternity leave and many other things. You know, so many issues. World over, they are issuing guidelines. It is not, not binding on any mem member to adhere to that, but they will adhere because this is for the welfare of the citizens of a particular country. You know, in consultation with the member countries are formulating this type of policy. So definitely, uh, yeah, we are supposed to follow those. Now, what happened? One, one uh, international labor organization, one rule. Less than 18, no, no, bo no, no, no child should enter into a factory only after 18. Suppose if that guideline is there, whether we will say that, no, 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 my, I will send my son at the age of 13. No, you cannot work. Another thing, free education is available up to 14. That is also guideline here. As per free education, we have to give up to the age of 14. Okay. Now, at that time, if you send your children for as a bonded labor or something like that, it is not dis dis disallowed. So, all general guidelines they are issuing, it is for the benefit of the citizen or uh, member country. Okay, everybody will follow. If you are not following, you want to become like uh, Congo, the Nigeria, is a policy, or uh, many other 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 like Afghanistan, like Sri Lanka, lot of poverty, everything is there, Pakistan, everything is there. So if you follow strictly, if you do the planning properly, this type of thing can be reduced to a certain extent. Okay. We have one more thing which I want to tell you. We are not, uh, you know, number one or something like that. We have made significant improvement, but yet to go far away because Population is increasing. Shortly, I told you, you know, India will become the uh, largest uh, this thing, populated country in the world by beating China. What, what type of arrangement uh, India has made to provide educational facilities, shelter, electricity, food, everything to the growing population in the country? Okay, sir. So then another thing. Here, uh, what is that? Because, sorry that I had to minutely see your book. Because Millennium Development Goal, MDG. What is that? That is who has issued United Nations Organization. You know that it is you, you know, New York. Okay. So we are also a member of that and uh, we are proudly we can say that while United Nations Organization, the setup, India played a vital role. Roosevelt. Winston Churchill, Nehru, many other, Yugoslavia, Marshall Tinto, so many other people, okay, uh, played a vital role. Yeah, India also played a vital role. That's why I want to tell you that, okay. Uh, and uh, not only that, India being the largest democratic country in the world, what are we say? Even they are also listening to that. All member in the UN and everything. We were having dynamic leaders, prime ministers, statesmen, everybody, you know, who used to deliver the lecture, a UN also, and uh, the whole world was watching. Okay. So that is the beauty of India. So we produce eminent personalities. Okay. You, you want to know one person? I, do, I don't think you must have heard. VK Krishnamenon. V.K. Krishna Menon, who was the defense minister of India when during China conflict, who played a significant role okay, when he was the minister, the you know, in the first cabinet, you know, by under Nehru. Very dynamic person, barrister, everything. So what I'm one incident I am just telling because of shorter time, a shortage of time, I cannot tell much. When UN General Assembly, you know that we are having conflict with Pakistan always clash. So, uh, always, you know, we were raising some, some issues, uh, you know, pertaining to India and Pakistan in the United General, uh, the National General Assembly. Our foreign ministers or some permanent representatives are there, now permanent representatives are there. So, we were raising. 
earlier in Nehru, Indira Gandhi, so many Vajpayee, so many people actually, so many people. And we were having fortunate to have very dynamic personalities. Okay. Now, one more thing, Vajpayee delivered in Hindi, which was also in UN, General Assembly, that was also a record because, uh, you know, Hindi is the, uh, one of the largest, uh, you know, speaking uh, language, you know, India, in India, because maximum persons are using that language actually, in, uh, especially in North India. So, what happened again? I'm talking about VK Krishnamenu. Every year in the United Nations General Assembly, people, uh, they were raising that we want to talk. At that time, they were, uh, Secretary General was not giving permission. Every meeting, you know, many, many years, you know, like that it went. And the Secretary General will not give time to Indian person to deliver the lecture. Finally, once, VK Krishnamayanan asked, uh, you know, some time, at that time, refused. Now, you very other people told, hey, why don't you give two minutes? Why don't you give two minutes to VK Krishnamayanan for expressing his views in front of the General Assembly? All other member countries are... So they were asking, every year they were asking. And so many people asked, why don't you give two minutes at least, two minutes at least to VK Krishnamayanan? So, Secretary General was very generous to accept the suggestions made by other countries and they allotted two, allocated two minutes to VK Krishnamayanan. Worst is history. At two minutes, he took seven hours. And nobody, people forgot the hours. They patiently listened to that very carefully, very beautifully. Everybody listened. Seven hours, more than seven hours. Two minutes time allotted, seven hours. And afterwards, do you want to know? Then he became in collapse. So, like that history was also there. Okay. Now here, w, uh, UNO has given certain guidelines here. Eradicate extreme poverty wherever it is there. Hunger, we have to remove. Achieve universal primary in Myanmar, everything. A lot of people are coming to here also, in India also. And uh, many other countries, you know, Ukraine and many other, you can see that places. Then, to achieve universal primary education, UNO has given guidelines. To achieve universal uh, you know, this education. Then, promote gender equi equality. Either male and female, gender equality. Okay, then, another thing is that, reduce child mortality. Death of ch young age, you know, death of children. Because, you know, because of nutrition, many other things, you know, uh, and uh, many parts of the country, much more kids, you know, they used to die. That should be reduced. Okay, and please remember that children mortality is concerned. Kerala ranks number one. No, very we are far better. That much that is not taking place in Kerala. Okay, many other states also they made significant improvement. They had taken adequate precaution. Number so improve uh, maternal uh, what is that uh, health? See here, uh, government of India is giving a lot of facilities to the. Uh, you know, female worker also, maternity leave, and to recoup her, this thing, extra leave is also given with the salary, everything, and uh, all type of ESA facility, many other things is extended to take care of the family, health of the, you know, female, uh, the worker, in a company or wherever it is. So, then, this is also general guidelines. See, HIV, AIDS, malaria, and other diseases, diseases, you know, other diseases, smallpox. Now, in India, smallpox is eradicated, malaria also to a certain extent, polio is eradicated, and uh, so general guidance, so we have to treat HIV patient, AIDS patient, we should not isolate those, because they are some people, children, they are innocent. So, Due to various reasons, you know, it is affected. So we have to take care of because they are also part of the society. So these are the general guidelines issued by UNO.
than concept measures of poverty. Abs there is absolute poverty. Poverty that is you know, uh, you know it is like uh, determining for living comfortably what are the things required. I want house. I want a cover. I uh, I want car. I want scooter or whatever is there. That is absolute uh, poverty. And uh, Nidhi Ayog is also and uh, you know we are determining for living what are things are required. Here it is mentioned actually you know vegetable milk product product food grain. Necessary for healthy living are the things. This is absolute poverty. Now, another thing, where is the other one? Uh, relative, sorry, uh, okay. Now, related poverty means uh, minimum required for your survival. Uh, that is the thing, to survive. Then, poor nutrition, illiteracy is also there in the villages, in the rural area. Social uh, exclusion. People are isolated from the, uh, you know, main, this thing. Some, we are not uh, untouchability. Still prevalent. Okay. It is to be removed. It is prohibited actually under law. Then discrimination. That is also prevalent in the society. It is also not uh, desirable. Then fundamental right. Now here, Sarva Shisha Abhyan, that is children education. Okay, now agricultural labor, I already told you. Say, so, farmers are suffering, agriculture, this thing, you know, they are suffering because of sudden floods, then droughts, early, that is earthquake, unexpected shocks, poor are rich, more, poor, uh, poor are much vulnerable to such external shocks. Okay, then social scheme. So, what happened now? We have to when we are uh, make, doing the census and other things to identify the poverty in the country, head counting is required. Amartyasen, Nobel Prize winner, you know, he just told how you are taking the census of, um, you know, the poverty ridden people. Head count is required. Per person you have to count. Then you, uh, you know, com compare with the total population in the country, then arrive at a decision. That is Amartya Sen's uh, this thing. Okay. Now, what is the statistical account? Then uh, estimate poverty. Now, here, Planning Commission has got, uh, you know, National Sample Survey that, uh, you know, consumer expenditure everything survey they are doing, then they are identifying various type of category of people. That is, you know, poor, rich, BPL and what, APL or whatever is there. And they are taking precaution, adequate steps also. And uh, statistics already in the book, it is available. Uh, poverty in India. One table, the graph they have given, just read that. India poverty, what is what to elaborate actually? Everybody is knowing that, no? India poverty. Okay. Then here, uh, identification of BPL. BPL, which are the category, you know, sanitation, food security, house, literacy, uh, you know, livelihood. Uh, this type of category, based on that, uh, we were categorizing this BPL category, you know. What is poor? Poor. What is poor? Poor means landless, marginal farmers. Then, uh, poor means self-employed artisans, service rendering people, women, head headed households, and socially accluded people, people with limited skills. The victims of side effects of development of infrastructure. These type of things are coming under poor. Okay. So where they are living, they are urban slums, peripheries of towns, border area, fragile, low productivity, high risk, isolated areas, poor, backward, and underdeveloped. This type of things are there. That table is given. Strategy. So how to remove the strategy? There should be proper planning by the government of India as well as the state government, as well as the world over to remove the poverty around the world, around the state, around, you know, everywhere, you know. So implementation, evaluation, the planning commission is, we are fortunate that previously it was planning commission. And here, uh, let me conclude with uh, one thing. This book number one is over. See, previously, we were having planning commission and uh, they were effectively monitoring 
the planning process and uh, you know the prime minister was the chairman of planning commission now it is converted into nidhi ayog and again prime minister is the chairman there is deputy chairman also and uh, now national development council is there but i see one thing the planning commission uh, they are submitting the plan for every five year plan every five year next year what we are going to do next year we are pay electrification removing poverty education lot of other things scientific achievements so many things you know in each and every plan uh, this thing they are giving another uh, aspect which i want to communicate to you is that national development council is there national development council what is national, national development council that is all chief ministers of 28 states all lieutenant governors of nine union territories and the prime minister home minister defense minister and many other cabinet secretary many other people are members so what they are doing once in two once in a year or twice in a year whenever necessity arises they are meeting each and every you know chief minister and they are seeking uh, what are the difficulty each state is having what are the you know requirement actually money requirement how much it is required every state demand is different because there is some small state very big state big state is having big demand so they will he will meet uh, they will meet uh, uh, you know one day or two days like that and they will put together everything all their requirements to the prime minister who is the chairman of uh, national development council and all chief ministers so every chief minister is represented you know they they will represent their own state problems so these are the things required these are the things required. finally cabinet secretary over it is uh you know he will make a report for and he will circulate this to the members who attended the, that the ndc meeting national development council meeting and necessary follow up wherever action is to be initiated by a particular ministry particular department particular state so uh, against that in the column action the so and so action so and so irrigation department action some other railway day, railway some civil aviation sometimes they, they somebody is demanding air force in kerala sabarimala also okay so that demand they will put a civil aviation department ministry so like that you know defense uh, related matter defense uh, ministry like that like so this in the minute they will highlight and afterwards the draft minutes initially it will be prepared that will be approved by you know the cabinet secretary as well as the prime minister then once it is approved by the prime minister then it will be circulated to the chief minister lieutenant governors of the union territory who is the head of union territory and the centrally administered all union territory like chandigarh lakshadweep andaman ekobar like that like that like that so they will do that and uh, uh, another thing after getting this report this is a general report that you know which contains the issues of various states in india and the prime minister or uh, home minister or their opinion whether you know consider sometimes some proposal they will consider at a later stage they will say that you know because of sometimes fund shortage or because you expenditure is that at that time just can you just keep in abeyance or something like that so like that you know uh, the chief minister concerned will afterwards you know every chief minister will initiate where action wherever is required and uh, and uh, whatever the central government is asking and uh, to comply with state government will also do that particular uh, work actually so some uh, state central government will give see please number one thing state please please number this where we are talking about the rural uh, the sing society no state is having sufficient funds they cannot survive without the support of the central government remember state government is having only the land revenue small 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 tax and they have to get their share from the central government through planning commission allo allocation so uh, we have to 
submit our proposal we have to persuade the central government after that they will because please remember the federal federalism is there no say no central government no prime minister nobody will re refuse anything because it is a you know unit uh, the thing uh, our uh, by, uh, no there are two types you know that the union government and state government federal system actually we are having so uh, we will submit our proposal they will kindly consider sympathetically they will consider that and so far please your your information government of india will support each and every state and each and every 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 aspect because it is for the development for the state if states are developed the country can develop if villages are developed the country can so narma gandhi says india lies in villages so we have to develop the villages we have to develop the state and we have to ultimately nation will also develop this is the thing now it is 7:30 so if anybody has got any doubt kindly ask book number 1 is over uh, sir adil enda doubt varna nammal ministry agriculture ne vendite parnle agriculture ay bandapetta baaki erengil ministries undo ella agriculture le poultry animal husbandry edeyokka agriculture inde ullil verunana appo adine definitely ayittu vera vera ministries undo illa illa agriculture ministry la division ana adokke ore demand undayirunno fisheries ne separate ministry venanna parannu undayirunno ഈ അഗ്രികൾച്ചറിന്റെ കീഴിൽ വരുന്നതാണ് ഇതൊക്കെ പക്ഷെ ഓർക്കണേ ചിലത് കോമേഴ്സ് മിനിസ്റ്ററുടെ കീഴിൽ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഈ കോഫി ഉണ്ടല്ലോ കോഫി കോഫി ഇത് ചിലത് നമ്മുടെ കോമേഴ്സ് മിനിസ്റ്ററുടെ കീഴിൽ വരുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ റിലേറ്റഡ് മാറ്റേഴ്സ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ മിനിസ്ട്രി വെരി ബിഗ് മിനിസ്ട്രി വെരി ബിഗ് ഐ ടോൾ യു ഫോർട്ടി സെവൻ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് ആർ സെൻട്രൽ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റീസ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി സോ uh maximum you know the agriculture related matters are handled by the agriculture ministry headed by the cabinet minister supported by minister of state one or two state minister of state also junior ministers also will be there manlaya but one more thing chele karyangalukke like coffee board rubber board hello rubber board there is a separate ministry that is nammada uh, commerce ministry anadu appo angane chele chele mathram ഒരു ചില ഇതൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് അത് വേറെ ക്യാഷ് ഇറ്റ് ഈ കോമേഴ്സ് മിനിസ്ട്രി സംതിങ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗോയിങ് ആക്ച്വലി ബിക്കാസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ടു ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ഓർ കോമേഴ്സ് ഓർ സംതിങ് ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ ബട്ട് ബിക്കാസ് ഈ അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ മിനിസ്ട്രി ഇസ് എ വാസ്റ്റ് മിനിസ്ട്രി എന്താ ചോദ്യം കാരണം എന്താ അല്ല അതിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ വരുന്ന പറഞ്ഞില്ല അപ്പൊ ഇത്രയും ഫീൽഡ് ഉണ്ടാവുമല്ലോ കുറെ ക്രോപ്സ് കുറെ ഉണ്ടല്ലോ അപ്പൊ എല്ലാ ക്രോപ്സിനെയും അവർ എന്നാണ് മാനേജ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ചോദിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് ഒന്നാമത് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ മിനിസ്റ്ററുടെ കീഴില് രണ്ട് മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് രണ്ടോ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ഓഫ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഉണ്ട് പിന്നെ വൺ തിങ് നത്തിങ് ടു വെറി ഹലോ ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദേ ആർ ഹാവിങ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ മിനിസ്റ്റർ ആണോ ഹലോ ദേ ആർ ഫോളോയിങ് ദ ലോസ് ഫ്രെയിംഡ് ബൈ ദ പോളിസി ഫ്രെയിംഡ് ബൈ ദ യൂണിയൻ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓക്കെ and whenever yes. they are handing out they can approach the union government also but remember not only agriculture we are having very big ministry like defense ministry also there no <laughs> army navy air force were 14 20 uh, 12 lakhs uh, our jawans are there so every there are big ministries agriculture ministry is also one of the biggest so idella adil verundana keto pinne parayu pinne parayu വേറെ ഡൗട്ട് ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതിലിപ്പോ സ്ത്രീകൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിട്ട് ഗവൺമെന്റ് പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു ഇപ്പൊ മെറ്റേണിറ്റി ലീവ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ട് കുറെ സംഭവങ്ങൾ സ്ത്രീകൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ചെയ്യുന്നു പറഞ്ഞു അത് മൊത്തം എന്താണ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓർഗനൈസ് ചെയ്ത സെക്ടറിൽ അൺ ഓർഗനൈസ്ഡ് സെക്ടറിനെമ്പവർമെന്റ് women and child development in the development in the petite other separate ministry and the women empowerment in the pinna verra kaaya ningal chochade ee maternity benefit idokke engine undallo idum social welfare adile ee idinde varum women social welfare the look after by smriti irani that ministry actually pinna verra oru kaaya endha nanacha oru factory il joli cheyumbo this there is a policy etra leave kodukanam endellam cheyanam nallade എല്ലാവർക്കും അറിയും ദീസ് റൂൾസ് ആർ ഫോർമുലേറ്റഡ് ബൈ ദ ബോത്ത് ഹൗസസ് ഓഫ് പാർലമെന്റ് ഇത് മെറ്റർണിറ്റി ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ആക്ട് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ ഏത് ആക്ട
എല്ലാ ആക്റ്റും പാസ്സാക്കുന്നത് ഇന്ത്യൻ പാർലമെന്റ് ആണ് ലോകസഭ രാജ്യസഭ അത് ഓരോരോ മിനിസ്ട്രി അത് കംപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്നു മാത്രമേ മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ കേട്ടോ അപ്പൊ അതിലെ ഉമൺ എംപവർമെന്റ് ഉണ്ട് ഉമൺ ഡെലി അത് നമുക്ക് വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരു അടുത്ത ബുക്കിൽ വരുന്നുണ്ട് ഉമൺ എംപവർമെന്റിന് ആ സമയത്ത് കൂടുതൽ സംസാരിക്കുക ഇതിപ്പോ നമ്മള് റൂറൽ ഏരിയത്തെ കാസ്റ്റ് ഇതേമാതിരിയുള്ള ബേസിക് തിങ്സ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തത് വില്ലേജില് അത് ഉമൺ എംപവർമെന്റ് ഇതൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് പിന്നീട് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം കേട്ടോ ഓക്കെ പിന്നെന്താ പിന്നെന്താ ഡൗട്ട് പിന്നെന്തെല്ലാം സാറ് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ കേരളത്തില് അതായത് മിനിമം നീഡ്സ് മിനിമം സാലറി കൊടുത്തിട്ട് വേണം പ്രോഗ്രാം ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് അതെ 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 അത് ഞാൻ പറയാൻ എന്താ ഞാൻ പറയാനുള്ളത് കേരളത്തിൽ കുറച്ച് സാലറി കൂടുതലായിരിക്കും അതേസമയം വെസ്റ്റ് ബംഗാൾ പോലുള്ള ഇതിലൊക്കെ നമുക്ക് വേജസ് കുറവായിരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ അപ്പൊ അത് പർച്ചേസിംഗ് പവറിനെ അവിടുത്തെ ബാധിക്കില്ലേ ഇപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ നമുക്ക് ഭക്ഷണം അതല്ല നമ്മുടെ കൺസ്യൂമർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആണ് കേരളം അതെ ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് രണ്ടാമത്തെ അവൈലബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ലേബർ സ്കിൽഡ് ലേബർ നമ്മുടെ ചില സമയത്ത് കമ്മിയാണ് സ്കിൽഡ് ലേബർ എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുതരാം ഇപ്പൊ ബിൽഡിംഗ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് കൺസ്ട്രക്ഷൻ വർക്കേഴ്സ് അതൊക്കെ നമ്മുടെ മറ്റുള്ള സ്ഥലങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്നതാണ് പിന്നെ നമ്മുടെ പ്രത്യേകത എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ പ്രീ എർലിയർ ആൾസോ വി ആർ പേയിങ് ഹയർ മിനിമം വേജസ് ബിക്കാസ് വി വർ വി ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദി ടു റീറ്റെയിൻ ദ പീപ്പിൾ നാദ്രേ വിൽ റൺ അവേ സോ ചില മറ്റുള്ള സ്റ്റേറ്റുകളും ഇതേമാതിരി ഉണ്ട് കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ ചില ഇപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറിയാലോ ഐ ടി നോട്ട് നെസ് സറി ദറ്റ് യു ക്യാൻ സി യുനോ നിയർ ബൈ ഏരിയ ദാറ്റ് നോ പീപ്പിൾ ആർ കമ്മിങ് ഫ്രം വേരിയ പാർട്ട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ കൺട്രി വൈ ബിക്കാസ് ഹിയർ വേർ നോക്ക് പെരുമ്പാവൂരിലെ ഏകദേശം പത്ത് ലക്ഷം എത്ര എനിക്ക് കേട്ടു ഞാൻ എനിക്കറിയില്ല കുട്ടികൾ അപ്പൊ എന്താർത്ഥം ഇവിടുത്തെ സാലറി കൂടുതലാകൊണ്ടല്ലേ വരുന്നത് വേജസ് വേജസ് സാലറി ഇല്ല കേട്ടോ മിനിമം വേജസ് സാലറി ഇല്ല കേട്ടോ സാലറി ഇസ് കോമ്പോണൻസ് ഡിഫറെന്റ് വേജസ് മിനിമം വേജസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കേൾക്കണോ ഇനി അറിയണോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മിനിമം പതിനായിരം രൂപയിലെ മീത കൊടുക്കണം മിനിമം വേജസ് ഉണ്ട് നമുക്ക് കേരളത്തില് ഒമ്പതിനായിരത്തി അഞ്ഞൂറിൽ മീത കൊടുത്തുകൊള്ളണം മിനിമം ഐ ആം ടെല്ലിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് ബേസിക് ഫ്ലോ വി ഡി ഡി എ ഹലോ കേൾക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ മന്ത്ലി മന്ത്ലി അതേമാതിരി ഡെയിലി വർക്കർ ആണ് വിചാരിക്കുക അതിന് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അതായത് ഓരോരോ വേജസ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അറുന്നൂറ് രൂപ എഴുന്നൂറ് രൂപ എണ്ണൂറ് രൂപ ആയിരം രൂപ അങ്ങനെ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് അപ്പോൾ ദ കാറ്റഗറി ഓഫ് വർക്കർ ഇതിനെല്ലാം ലോൺ ഉണ്ട് അപ്പൊ അതനുസരിച്ചിട്ടാണ് അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ എന്റെ ഡൗട്ട് എന്താണ് ഇവിടെ ഒന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ മറ്റുള്ളവടത്തും ചിലയിടത്തും ഹയസ്റ്റ് കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ അപ്പൊ ഡൽഹിയിലൊക്കെ ഹയസ്റ്റ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ ചില ഏരിയയില് അത് കൊടുക്കുന്നില്ല കാരണം എന്താ അറിയോ മിനിമം വേജസ് ഫിക്സ് ചെയ്യാൻ സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെന്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റിനെ ഓതറൈസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അവിടുത്തെ സർക്കംസ്റ്റാൻസ് അനുസരിച്ച് അവർക്ക് ആക്ഷൻ എടുക്കാം കേരളത്തില് ഡ്യൂ ടു വേരിയസ് റീസൺ നമ്മുടെ വേജസ് കുറച്ച് മീതയാണ് അത്രേ ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞുള്ളൂ ചില ഏരിയയിൽ ചില സ്റ്റേറ്റിലെ വേജസ് കുറച്ച് കമ്മിയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ടാണല്ലോ അവർ ഇവിടെ വരുന്നത് കേട്ടോ അതാണ് പറയുന്നത് പിന്നെ അപ്പൊ അല്ല നിങ്ങൾ സാലറിയുടെ കാര്യമാണോ വേജസിന്റെ കാര്യമാണോ പറയുന്നത് സാലറി പറഞ്ഞാൽ അതിന്റെ കോമ്പോണൻസ് പലതും ഉണ്ട് കേട്ടോ അതായത് അത് റെഗുലർ സാലറി ഇതെല്ലാം കിട്ടുന്നത് ഇവരൊക്കെ ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മളിപ്പോ പറയുന്നത് മിനിമം വേജസിന്റെ കാര്യമാണ് മിനിമം വേജസ് ആക്ച്വലി നോക്കൂ ഹൗ മെനി ഡേയ്സ് ദ വർക്ക് അതായത് ഇരുപത്തിയാറ് ദിവസം ജോലി ചെയ്യണം നാല് ദിവസം അവർക്ക് കമ്പൽസറി ഓഫ് ആണ് സൺഡേ അതായത് ആറ് ദിവസമാണ് ഒരാൾക്ക് ജോലി ചെയ്യാൻ പാടൂ ഏഴാമത്തെ ദിവസം റെസ്റ്റ് കൊടുത്തോളണം അങ്ങനെയാണ് വെച്ചാൽ ഇരുപത്തിയാറ് ദിവസത്തിലാണ് അവർക്ക് ശമ്പളം കിട്ടുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ ഇരുപത്തിയാറ് ദിവസം വർക്ക് ചെയ്യുന്ന ആളുകളെയാണ് നമ്മൾ റെഗുലർ എന്നൊക്കെ പറയുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അവരുടെ കോമ്പോണൻസ് പലതുമാണ് അതിൽ മിനിമം വേജസ് ഉണ്ടാവും വി ഡി എ ഉണ്ടാവും ഓവർ ടൈം ഉണ്ടാവും ലഞ്ച് അലവൻസ് ഉണ്ടാവും ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ട് അലവൻസ് ഉണ്ട് ഇതൊക്കെ കൂടി കൂടിയിട്ടാണ് ചിലവർക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നത് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ നേരെ മറിച്ച് നേരെ മറിച്ച് നമ്മളിപ്പോ രണ്ട് ദിവസത്തിന് വേണ്ടി മാത്രം എൻഗേജ് മൂന്ന് ദിവസത്തിന് അപ്പൊ ഡെയിലി വേജസ് ആയിരിക്കും അതായത് നമ്മൾ ഒരു അഞ്ച് ദിവസത്തിന് വേണ്ടി വരെ കുഴി കുത്താനോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ ഡ്രെയിനേജ് സിസ്റ്റം എന്തെങ്കിലും എങ്ങനെ ഉണ്ടല്ലോ
വേറെ ലാൻഡ് റിഫോംസ് പറഞ്ഞത് ലാൻഡ് റിഫോമില് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് വെൽത്ത് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഈക്വലി കൊടുക്കണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ ഈ ലാൻഡ് റിഫോംസ് ആക്ട് നമ്മളുടെ ആകെ കേരളത്തിലെ വെസ്റ്റ് ബംഗാളിൽ വന്ന് കുറച്ച് സ്റ്റേറ്റുകളിൽ മാത്രമേ നടത്തുള്ളൂ അതിനുശേഷം പിന്നെയും ഇങ്ങനെ വെൽത്ത് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ചെയ്യാൻ എന്തെങ്കിലും ആക്ടോ അങ്ങനെ എന്തെങ്കിലുമൊക്കെ വന്നിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അതായത് ഞാൻ അത് അപ്പൊ തന്നെ പറഞ്ഞല്ലോ അതായത് ഇത് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ആണ് പവർ കൊടുത്തുന്നത് അതായത് ദിസ് കമ്മിങ് അണ്ടർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ലിസ്റ്റ് അഗ്രികൾച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ലാൻഡ് ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ എവറിങ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾസ് ഉണ്ട് കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷന്റെ അത് പ്രകാരമാണ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഇതൊക്കെ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പൊ എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഈ നമ്മുടെ അവിടെ എന്താണ് പറയുന്ന വെച്ചാൽ ഈ ഈക്വിറ്റി ഈക്വാലിറ്റി ഏനോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇനോ ഉള്ളവനും ഇല്ലാത്തവനും കൂടിയുള്ള അകലം കമ്മിയാക്കുക അത് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഡ്യൂട്ടിയാണ് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് അതായത് എല്ലാം പണം ഒരാളുടെ കയ്യിൽ മാത്രം വയ്ക്കുക മറ്റുള്ളവർക്ക് ഒന്നുമില്ല അങ്ങനെ ആ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് കമ്മിയാക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി അത് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റിന്റെ ആണ് പക്ഷെ അത് എത്രത്തോളം ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് സക്സസ് ആണ് അത് ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ മാർക്കാണ് നമുക്കറിയില്ല പക്ഷെ ഇത് അവരുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റിന്റെ ഡ്യൂട്ടിയാണെന്ന് നോക്കേണ്ടത് അതായത് ലാൻഡ് ഇല്ലാത്തവർക്ക് ലാൻഡ് ലെസ് ആളുകൾക്ക് ലാൻഡ് കൊടുക്കുക അതാണോ ലാൻഡ് റിഫോം നമ്മുടെ ഇ എം എസ് നമ്പരിപ്പാടൊക്കെയുള്ള സമയത്ത് നമ്മുടെ ആദ്യം നമ്മുടെ കേരളത്തിലാണ് ഇതൊക്കെ വന്ന് സിഗ്നിഫിക്കന്റ് ഒരു അച്ചീവ്മെന്റ് ആണ് കേരളത്തിന്റെ അപ്പോ അങ്ങനെയാണ് ഇല്ലാത്തവനും മറ്റേ ഒക്കെ ഭൂമി കിട്ടിത്തടങ്ങിയത് അപ്പൊ ഇപ്പോഴും കുറെ ആളുകൾക്ക് അങ്ങനെ വിഷമങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ട് അതുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ വി ആർ ആസ് കമ്പയർ ടു അതർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വി ആർ ഫോർ 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 ബെറ്റർ കേട്ടോ അതിന് വേറെ അങ്ങനെയല്ല അത് ലാൻഡ് റിഫോംസിന് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് നമ്മുടെ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓഫ് കേരള നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഗസറ്റ് നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഇഷ്യൂ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യയുടെ ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഓഫ് കേരളത്തിലെ ഗസറ്റ് നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഉണ്ട് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ആ നമ്മുടെ അസംബ്ലിയില് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് അപ്രൂവ് ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഗവർണർ സൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടാണ് ഗസറ്റിൽ നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ കൊടുക്കുക അപ്പൊ അതിൽ എല്ലാ ഗൈഡ് ലൈൻസ് ഉണ്ട് എങ്ങനെ കൊടുക്കേണ്ടത് എങ്ങനെ ഡിസ്ട്രിബ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യേണ്ടത് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് പിന്നെ അതിന് ആക്ടും ഉണ്ട് കോടതിയിലൊക്കെ ചാലഞ്ച് ചെയ്യുന്ന പല ആക്ടുകളും ഉണ്ട് കേട്ടോ അതും ഉണ്ട് പല ആക്ടുകൾ ഉണ്ട് ഇതിന് ഇതിന്റെ അതും ഉണ്ട് അത് നമുക്ക് ഡീറ്റെയിൽ വേണമെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഞാൻ പിന്നീട് പറഞ്ഞുത